The first step is to identify the classes. They are written to the right of the object name at the top of each object. In this example, we have the classes student, course and lecture hall. Then we have a look at the attributes of each class. Mike Fox and Helen Lewis have the same attributes. So we can copy the attribute names to the class student. The same is valid for the courses OM and IPROC. We also assume that each object of the class lecture hall will have the characteristic name and seats. In the next step we model the links. If there is only one link between two different objects in the object diagram, then there has to be also a corresponding link in the class diagram. For more details, we can specify the type of each attribute. First name and last name of person has the type string. The same counts for name and semester of the class course and name of the class lecture hall. Date of birth of the class student is of type date. And matriculation number is also of type string, as you can see on the quotes. The attribute hours of the class course is a float and the attribute seed of the class lecture hall is an integer. Now we have built a coarse grain diagram. Of course you can specify more details of attributes and operations. You've completed your first class diagram.